544, welcome back as you take a live look this morning. Uh, this is from our camera out in the Falcon area this morning. And we right now have clear skies here. Now out to our east, we are dealing with some Apache fog, some dense fog this morning, portions out across the plains. Right now we are looking at that critical fire weather though as we go into the afternoon evening. We've got temperatures sitting in the mid-20s around Woodland Park and Manitou Springs, 29 downtown Colorado Springs, 29 in Fountain, and it's 18 degrees. Uh, currently out towards the Pueblo area. So as we head into the afternoon, we're going to stay dry here, I-25 and out to the east. We've got some light snow showers this morning up in the mountains, and we'll continue to see a few snow showers. So between the Sangres and the wet mountains, the wet mountain valley, looking at a little bit of those light snow showers this morning. Critical fire weather, red flag fire warnings will go into effect this morning at 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. this evening. And those winds will be stronger this afternoon. Out of the northwest at 20 to 30 miles an hour, gusting at times up to 45 miles an hour. And relative humidities are going to be very dry at just about 15% or less. So that's why we've got the critical fire weather there. All right, let's go ahead and keep an eye on your Thursday morning commute. Uh, here with your traffic tracker here on a Thursday morning, you're looking live. And we are out on Powers Boulevard this morning in our storm tracker vehicle. That volume of traffic there, fairly heavy in some of those intersections, but no major major accidents to report this morning. Uh, let's do go down to the Pueblo area right now. This uh, just popped onto the map a few seconds ago, but they're listing uh, some problems there on I-25 northbound as a closure. We'll check on that, make sure that uh, this is actually a closure. The rest of the Pueblo area kind of running in the green right now and looking pretty good. If you're traveling in and between Colorado Springs and Pueblo, also seeing uh, uh, most of our major interstates running in the green, that north and southbound lanes between Colorado Springs and Pueblo are uh, A-OK -okay at this point in time. That is your check of your weather and traffic. We'll check on that closure down in the Pueblo area. Guys, back over to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Chris. This morning, the city of Denver is continuing to help more than 100 migrants who showed up in Denver on Tuesday. Our Jessica Gremling is now live with more on this evolving situation. And Jess, now the city has activated its emergency operations center and joint information center. Josh, that decision comes after the city of Denver set up an emergency shelter at a recreation center to assist with the number of people. According to the city of Denver, all 110 migrants had made their way to the Denver rescue mission. The mig migrants were dropped off at Union Station in downtown Denver on Monday night into Tuesday morning. A nonprofit working with the migrants told our news partners in Denver many of them said their last stop was in the El Paso area. They confirmed they were not coerced or trafficked to go to Denver and that it was their intended destination. Most of the migrants have indicated they are from Venezuela and say they're looking for a better life. All of them say we just need an opportunity to start working and providing. We don't want to be a burden. And tell us, please, how, what do we have to do? These are young people who want an opportunity to start over, to, to, be, to feel safe. According to Nine News, Denver also had about 40 migrants show up on Friday night and stay at the homeless shelter. The emergency shelter will be in place while the city works with nonprofit partners to connect people with resources. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jessica Grunling, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, thanks, Jessica. A man from Pueblo is now in jail following a chase that shut down I-25 for more than three hours Tuesday night. Authorities say a 27-year-old named Eric Morales sped away from CSPD, sideswiped a squad car, Colorado Springs Police then contacted Douglas County Sheriff's deputies as Morales entered their jurisdiction. Deputies attempted to stop Morales after they identified the vehicle, but he refused. And once the car finally did stop, Morales refused to get out, would not comply with the police orders. Eventually, deputies took Morales into custody. He faces numerous charges, including second-degree kidnapping, criminal mischief, resisting arrest, and more. A week's-long investigation is leading police, a police task force rather, in Pueblo to 12 more stolen vehicles. In this photo taken by the multi-agency unit, you can see one of the trucks recovered during the operation. The hood covered by a pile of keys belonging to other stolen vehicles. One big arrest to come out of the operation is a 28-year-old named John Montez, a man with an extensive criminal record known to frequently run from police. In the past, Montez has been charged with motor vehicle theft a total of 10 times a number that will now go up pending his new charges. There was a swatting incident reported at a Springs school. After the break, we have details on who police say called in a fake threat and who else is targeted by the swatting call this week.
little windy there now. Are you guys okay? You know, Mimosa? Storm Tracker 13 keeps you ahead of the storm. A lot of heavy rain, just a wall of rain right now. With the largest network of weather cameras in Southern Colorado. Possibility of some quarter sized hail. Tracking the storm as it moves, like no other station can, with over 30 cameras. See the storm, see the radar, stay one step ahead. Storm Tracker 13, with real time views of storms, setting a new standard for weather coverage. What could you do with a $10,000 bonus? It's yours when you sign on with Waste Connections as a Class B CDL driver in Pueblo. Competitive wages, great benefits, and a vacation package. Get your $10,000 bonus. Call Waste Connections in Pueblo today. Don't miss Gaylord Rocky's newest holiday production, Cirque Spirit of Christmas. A heartwarming story that soars through the air and sparkles with imagination. With a riveting Broadway-style score, world-class contortionists, jugglers, trapeze artists, and more, it will be an experience you'll never forget. All part of so much Christmas at Gaylord Rockies. Buy tickets at Christmas at GaylordRockies.com. Use code TINSEL to save up to 20%. Sharp wire pokes his lip. Hurts bad, can't handle it. Keep me feeling fine with Invisalign. And this is drama free. Less painful than braces. Invisalign. Oh, oh, mm -mm. It's Santa. We got a problem. Hold on. What could you do with a $10,000 bonus? It's yours when you sign on with Waste Connections as a Class B CDL driver in Pueblo. Competitive wages, great benefits, and a vacation package. Get your $10,000 bonus. Call Waste Connections in Pueblo today. Five fifty one. Welcome back as you take a live look from our Cheyenne Mountain Camper down into Colorado Springs. Clear and cold this morning, but we will be talking about critical fire weather late this morning and into the afternoon with stronger winds in the forecast for today. 18 currently in the Steel City, 22 Lime and 29 in Canyon City. So kind of a chilly morning across the board. We will get warming temperatures into the afternoon. That comes with the winds as well. Right now we've got spotty little snow showers along the front range and down into the wet mountain valley this morning. We're forecasting high slightly above average for this afternoon, albeit with winds that may gust as high as 45 miles an hour. 52 Colorado Springs, 55 in the Pueblo area. You've got upper 40s to the low mid and upper 50s out across the plains. And we'll continue to see a few scattered snow showers this afternoon with those colder temperatures up in the mountains. Now, if you have any evening plans, I don't think we see much precipitation, if any at all today. But we will be cooler tonight, 50, uh, 48 degrees at 6 p.m., 40 into the 8 o'clock hour and by 10 o'clock we're dropping down into the low 30s. So critical fire weather this afternoon. We've got a little stronger gradient and another little impulse and front kind of rolling through the area. We'll see another trough kind of uh, keeping us on the dry side, the colder air staying to the north, but we'll still see a little bit of a breeze tomorrow afternoon. And then Saturday, you'll notice that here we've got a westerly to a northwesterly flow. We'll keep those temperatures in the 40s and 50s, but down the road we've got an area of low pressure and a large trough entering the west coast. That will bring some heavy snow to the Sierra and by early next week, it will bring us a chance for some snow and much colder temperatures. So for this morning, those scattered snow showers continue. For all of us along the I-25 corridor and those living out to the east, we're still going to be on the dry side as we head into the afternoon and evening, then clear and cold overnight. We're out the door with the teens tomorrow morning. We're down to 18 in the spring, 17 in Pueblo, teens out across the plains, 8 below in Gunnison tomorrow morning, uh, down to a single-digit start in Alamosa and 18 degrees in Walsenburg. And looking at tomorrow afternoon, again, with that westerly and southwesterly flow, we'll likely squeeze out a few snow showers up into the higher terrain. Looks like it's mainly north of Leadville. We'll see sunny to partly cloudy skies here, Colorado Springs, and then clearing and cold once again as we work our way overnight and into Saturday morning, Saturday 5 a.m. Still no precipitation here uh, in southern Colorado. 48 degrees and 50 tomorrow afternoon, 40s and 
50s out across the plains. We're at 42 tomorrow afternoon in the Salida area. Monument Palmer Lake, 43 degrees today. We're in the low and mid 40s through Saturday. A little warmer on Sunday. That colder air next week, 27 for your high coming up on Tuesday afternoon. Woodland Park, we'll also be talking about some snow showers next week as we go from Monday night into Tuesday. Certainly colder weather. We're down to 10 degrees Wednesday morning and highs in the 20s and 30s. Pueblo area, low and mid 50s all the way into the weekend. A little warmer when breezy conditions on Sunday afternoon as our next system kind of comes on board. Then we're cooler with 40 degrees Tuesday, 39 on Wednesday. Colorado Springs, 48 degrees tomorrow afternoon. 40s and 50s heading into the weekend before we see those temperatures drop into the mid 30s with snow showers Monday night into Tuesday. And finally for Canyon City, it's the low 50s today and tomorrow. 40s and 50s heading into the weekend before that colder air arrives with a chance for some snow showers Monday night and into Tuesday.